Sito, there comes the name Cistercians from. And they follow very, very strict rules. Like I said, the main rule for them of Saint Benedict is that they need to live a life in poverty. So a life in poverty, that rule I will explain three times uh, in the rules. Then they also need to pray all together five times a day. First pray in the past was already at 4 a.m. in the morning. Now today they said 4 a.m. too early. We're going to take 5 a.m. So today first pray 5 a.m. in the morning. Then they also have their personal prayer. And a, um, in fact, a monk whispers while he's praying because you want to hear what he's reading. Then third, he needs to live among his other brothers. And at last, he also needs to work, of course. Now, first of all, we have the cheese factory. So you have the roof of the guest house, the roof that you will see behind it with the three little windows. That's the roof of the cheese factory. So there still today we make three kind of cheeses. We have a young cheese, a young cheese with beer in, and an old cheese. And of course all these three kind of cheeses are for sale in our shop. Uh, now today we don't have animals working anymore in the cheese factory. We only have people uh, from the neighborhood that work for the monks to make their cheese. Now then, the brewery, our famous brewery, is on the right side. So you also follow the roof of the guest house. And on the right side behind it, you will see two roofs pointing out. Yeah. And so those are the roofs of the brewery. Now, of course, in the brewery, we make Orval beer. Now, Orval beer is an amber-colored beer with a rate of alcohol of 6.2%. Now, we always say, if you have drink three Orvals, you had a good meal because it's a good beer now we produce annually about 23 million bottles of beer wow. it's wow. about 72,000 hectoliters wow so it's a lot especially a lot because the brewery is not that big but it's still not enough for belgium even when we're such a little country it's still not enough for us because we love orval beer and we would like to buy Orval beer every day and any shop wherever but that's not the case because every time that we go to the shop we can buy Orval beer because it's but it's always limited you can only buy six bottles a client a day and no more so the Belgian people are a little bit frustrated <laughs> and so they tell the monks why can't you just produce more beer well the monks will never produce more beer because if they want to produce more beer they need to expand the brewery and if they need to expand the brewery they need to build outside the walls of the abbey and if they build outside the walls of the abbey orval is no longer a trappist beer because mm -hmm. a trappist beer the main rule of a trappist beer is that it's a beer that is made within the walls of a trappist abbey with on the head of the brewery a Trappist monk. That's the main rule. Yeah. And then otherwise, if they will uh, expand the brewery and build outside the walls, they will also lose the little logo that you will see on the label. It says in English, authentic Trappist product. And so the logo is so important for them that they will never ever produce more beer. Yeah. Now, this logo also says is that they need to give about 55% of their proceeds to different forms of charity. So if you're going to think very wisely, you can say every time that you drink an Orville beer, you're doing just a little bit of charity. charity yeah. <laughs> it's all good. So. so good. Okay, then behind you, you will see two other buildings so on the left have the old pharmacy because 200 years ago we had a monk uh, in Orval who was named Perrin and he had his own pharmacy with a little garden of medicinal plants to help the monks with his own medicines. Yeah. And later on it also became a very important pharmacy for the people of the neighborhood. The building right next to it 
was in fact uh, the first guest house from the Abbey of the 12th century. So they have always had a guest house because it was in fact a place where they could invite their family to come spend a couple of days with them for during Christmas and Easter etc. All the big holidays um, uh, in the year. And so then the family could come here but the building right over there was only for the men. Yeah? The woman and the children couldn't come into the abbey but they were invited. So they had another guest house for the women and for the children outside the walls of the abbey. And that's the building that you will see if you go outside. You have the parking lot on the left and on your right you have a big building. That's, that was in fact a building from the guest house of the women and the children. Yeah? Now it was also on the first floor of that building where our queen of Belgium, Matilda, came to drink her first Orval beer. Now she didn't love it that much. Yeah? She thought it was too bitter. And so she just sipped and then she gave it to, uh, to Philip, Prince Philip. And then she came down and she went straight to the source of Matilda. So now we are also heading to the source of Matilda. So you can follow the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, the big